Hi, my name is Cullen Burke. I'm from Moscow, Idaho. My name is Evan McFarland. I'm from Staten Island, New York. This is my first time traveling far away from my home country. We all left our homes in various parts of the world a few days ago and made this uh, journey down to the bottom of South America where we'll be embarking our vessel later today and setting off to the Antarctic. You're going to share something from the heart and you're going to share something fun or quirky about yourself. Something from the heart? Uh... I'm here out of love a lot to Antarctica. <laughs> Heart's being a little bit fast at this moment. I'm super excited to be here. I've been going to Antarctica for too many years, but I haven't been there since, well, since early December. <laughs> <laughs> the only of SOI is really amazing. Everyone's super friendly. I've made lots of friends already. I'm expecting the sublimity of the environment because it's not something you get to see every day. It's probably not something that most people ever get to see again. Here's to us and to all the people that helped get us here and to an amazing, successful, and safe journey to Antarctica! And just seven miles to the left there is where the rock comes into the sea is Cape Valentine here and directly ahead of us now is Point Wild, um, which the men call Point Bloody Wild. <laughs> it is a very desperate place. Here is where Shackleton's men wintered under upside turn boats on Point Wild. The chinstrap penguins nesting here as their enemy in the water. Look at him now. He's going right, to, right to beside us. It's a very, very special place. It's probably one of the most magnificent wilderness sites in the whole world. Why is this place so special, Baileyhead? Because it's home to half a million chin straps, something like that. A great thing to do here, you guys, is just sit down somewhere and listen.
I, I love to just sit and, and take it all in um, because there is so much that the natural world can teach us. It's been a spectacular experience so far. All the wildlife has been amazing and the scenery is just breathtaking. I wish I could be in this classroom every day. <laughs> Happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year's. Welcome to Deception. There you go, just spin around your neck. It's kind of incredible how there's nature and industry combined in here. Whenever people come here, they still see the spirit of what was left behind. This is a giant isopod that only lives in the water of the Arctic. Wow. Grain size for the surface layer is about uh, one millimeter by one millimeter. So this is uh, the Kerner ice cap. This little ice cap on this very tiny island. So Students on Ice have been here on this ice cap for several years in a row now. Since 2009 they've been uh, measuring the air temperature and also checking to see what, uh, what melt has been occurring on this ice cap. Okay, so you want to unpin that? Oh, oh. 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 Antarctica is the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. We're surrounded by life everywhere, penguins and ocean life, and we see whales and seals and krill, and we're able to study them and observe them. Uh, what's going to stay with me? Well, I mean, just look around. We have learned so much. Well, the greatest classroom on earth. I mean, it's incredible to be able to be surrounded by like-minded people who just want to protect the poles. And, I mean, it's just something totally different and you have to be here to experience it. It's been an excellent uh, experience uh, being able to learn from these wonderful, um, super knowledgeable people in such a lovely outdoor classroom with our hands, um, in the snow, um, in the water, um, trying to take it all in.